Hello everyone and welcome to my first tutorial about combat in EVE Online. In this video I'll talk about missile weapon systems, in particular how damage is applied depending on the missiles type you are using, their strengths and weaknesses and how they compare to other weapon systems. To be completely honest, despite my low skills I found myself pretty amazed about missiles' damage, despite my very bad skills on these weapon systems. So if you note that missiles in this video are not dealing so much damage compared to turrets, maybe because you are a turret user, it's because I suck using missiles. Damage types and resistances, fitting, modules and their operation will be covered in another video. Missiles are the favorite weapons of uh, Caldari State and their ships have both the highest amounts uh, of launcher hardpoints and skill specific bonuses. Minmatter and Amar also have certain ships that fare well uh, with missiles. Gallenti is the only race that has no missile optimized ships. The main features of this weapon system is the travel time, causing a delay in damage and the fact that uh, once launched they are completely independent on your ship's movement, allowing you to kite your target, so attack him from a very long distance, or orbit it as close as you can freely. And sometimes you can choose between them depending on your, your enemy weapons and modules. They also come in all damage types, which can be swapped by loading a different type of missiles into launcher on the go. The beauty of missiles is their innate simplicity and ease of use. Before launch, all you have to worry about is the, if the target is within reach shown by your maximum flight distance on the module tooltip. Once launched, you can pretty much just wait and watch them fly towards the target or forget about them entirely, unlike drones that need to be constantly, constantly watched and taken care of because they can be damaged or destroyed, or turrets which are affected by all kinds of, vari of variables like tracking, optimal range, falloff and so on. However, the actual amount of damage applied to their target by missiles is based uh, on a few factors, mainly target's velocity and signature radius. Signature radius of a ship can be considered a direct measure of how big a ship is in-game and dictates how easy it is to hit. Bigger ships tend to have a bigger signature radius and so are pretty easy to hit. The amount of damage dealt by missiles based on target is, uh, size can be calculated using signature radius and explosion radius, which is a property of the missiles and uh, is affected by ship bonuses, modules and your own skills. The bigger the explosion radius of a missile or the smaller the ship, the less damage it, it receives due to a lesser concentrated explosion on target. In other words, you want to minimize the explosion radius of your missiles and attack targets with big signature radius for maximum damage or at least fire missiles which have the same size of their intended target. For example, heavy missiles are intended for cruisers and are not that good against frigates. Target's velocity acts in a similar way. To avoid damage for missiles, you want to move as fast as possible. Once again, the velocity component of the damage can be calculated using explosion velocity of your missiles. The greater the explosion velocity and uh, or the slower the target, the more damage you can apply to it. It is in fact possible to completely outrun the explosion and, to, and not to take damage at all, but uh, that's only possible in extreme cases, for example a battleship firing cruise missiles at uh, a tiny fast frigate. Keep in mind that unlike turrets and drones, there are no random values involved in the calculation of damage applied by missiles. If you and your target will keep moving the same way and keep active at the same modules, if you keep firing the same missile over and over again, it's, go it's going to deal the same amount of damage over time. There are mainly two types of, of missiles depending on the size. One for short-range engagements, which going by size are rockets, heavy assault missiles, torpedoes and citadel torpedoes, 
and one for long-range engagements, light missiles, heavy missiles, cruise missiles and citadel cruise missiles. Each kind of missile launcher can only use its proper sized and ranged missile. For example, you can't use rockets on a light missile launcher despite them having the same size. And, like other weapon systems, they are meant to hit only ships which are the same size or bigger as the missile you are going to launch. Longer range missiles are fairly easy to, easy to use. They have superior range even among other weapon systems. Their launchers have high capacity and faster reload speed and very high damage per volley, which makes them excellent at alpha damage. However, due to long distances and slow travel velocity, the damage de delay is very, is very apparent, making them less useful in PvP combat, especially in very large fleets. Shorter range missiles, on the other hand, are excellent at applying damage with generally better explosion radius and explosion velocity, and a significantly higher rate of fire. This allows them to deal more DPS despite dealing less damage per volley relative to their longer range counterparts. However, they have smaller capacity, higher fitting requirements and of course a very short maximum flight distance, meaning you have to get close which costs you to which costs you time, but at least you won't have a long delay time, allowing them to be more useful for PvP but restricting them to the brawler role. In general, they are preferred by more experienced pilots due to their higher DPS, but they tend to require more, more skills than their longer range counterparts to be used properly. There actually exists a third missile launcher type, which are rapid missile launchers, and they use the same long range missiles variations but of a smaller size than intended for that ship, and are mostly intended for bigger ships looking for an easy way to kill smaller ships. For example, if you are flying a cruiser and you want to become an excellent frigate killer, you should use rapid light missile launchers, which fires uh, light missiles with a higher rate of fire compared to the small sized uh, light missile launcher, and they will be even able to deal with very fast kiting frigates. You can actually try to kill another cruiser, but uh, once your missile launcher is empty, you will need 35 seconds to reload them, which is an extremely long amount of time. So you are probably going to die if you run out of missiles. Last but not least, there actually exists uh, other two types of missiles, which are defender missiles and auto-targeting missiles. Defender missiles are used to destroy incoming enemy missiles, but they are not so popular because sometimes they can fail and most of the times it's better to apply damage instead of negating it, especially in PvE. Sometimes they could become useful in PvP, but it will be for a very niche role against other missile boats. If you are going to face a fitted a ship fitted with turrets, for example, defender missiles will be useless. Auto-targeting missiles can be fired without uh, a lock and they will theoretically target uh, and automatically hit the closest enemy at the expense of slightly less damage compared to their lock requiring brothers. They can come in handy against uh, NPCs if you get jammed uh, during a mission, which means that you can't lock anyone for a certain amount of time because, as I said, you don't need to lock a target to shoot them, but maybe they will not hit the intended target. I've never tried them because I never needed them, but uh, keep them in mind if you have trouble against NPCs with jammers like Caldari Navy or Goristas Pirates. Summarizing missiles. They are very easy to use. You can choose damage type, which will be considered more deeply in my next video. They tend to have a very high alpha damage, a lot of damage in a single volley, but uh, low damage per second if you are using longer range missiles and they suffer against enemies with small signature radius or very high speed, basically whoever is using an afterburner. Conversely, they are a lot more effective uh, than other weapon systems when it comes to destroying very large and slow targets, where turrets and drones will just deal the same amount of damage with uh, bigger ships, while missiles will be dealing more damage. 
The major drawback of missiles is damage delay, delay due to travel time, and this is the main reason why missiles are unpopular in very large fleets for PvP. Also, uh, the fact that they can be firewalled using smart bombs. But they excel in PvE and they can be extremely dangerous in solo or small gang PvP for both kiting and alpha damage. So, it ends here this missile tutorial on EVE Online. I hope I haven't bored you and remember to like this video if you liked it, dislike if you disliked it, and don't forget to comment below if you find anything wrong or if you have any question. With that said, fly safely and I'll see you in my next video. Bye bye!